A lot of you may be wondering, what the heck is lie angle? Well, today we're going to help you answer that question. We've got the P770 iron and we're going to hit some shots with a standard lie angle and then move it upright three degrees and then flat three degrees. We'll have TrackMan give us all the information. Cameron will break down all the data. We'll help you guys with that question of what is lie angle. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. You give this video a like. You tell us in the comments why lie angle is important to your game. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Cameron Fitzer, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Um, today, Cameron, it's lie angle. Yep. Um, and a, a term that maybe a lot of maybe weekend warriors or kind of casual golfers aren't super familiar with right. or don't really know the intricacies of it. So right. um, kind of, first of all, I almost have you sort of just explain what lie angle is to the viewers. Right. And then we'll kind of get into the demonstration we'll have today. Right, so really lie angle is kind of just your measurement of shaft relative to where that club head sits on the ground. Yeah. So uh, typically something that we use for players based on different heights, yeah. different wrist to floor measurements when we're going through our static measurements, um, but also ball flight, looking at direction, yeah. looking at strike location on the face, which can definitely be influenced by lie angle as well. Yeah. And uh, the kind of the, the untalked about thing would be how metrics can change just based on lie angle. What do right. you lose when you're in the wrong lie angle golf club mm -hmm. or how can you benefit from having the right lie angle? Right, right. Another thing too that we should maybe just mention briefly is that the standard lie angle can differ right. by manufacturer. So, Absolutely. Um, you know, your the, the lie angle for let's say this club here, the P770, yep. The standard one's probably different than, say, a Mizuno. Right, we're 62 and a half here as a standard from TaylorMade. Mizuno, like you said, for, for reference there, 61 and a half as a standard. Yeah. So granted, standard is definitely a, a term used by all manufacturers, yeah. but standard isn't necessarily standard across right. the board. Right, right. So today uh, we're going to, you know, we have a nice little fun tool here that we yep. can adjust the line angle on this iron uh, from standard to three degrees upright and three degrees flat. Right. So we have some know, maybe extreme kind of settings that we can yep. adjust this iron to to really show the differences. So talk to me about maybe what you expect, at least yep. from dispersion maybe. Right. Because there is certainly those tendencies that show up when a club is set more flat or upright. Right. Uh, just from a directional standpoint, your, your typical thought process would be something more upright, going to be more biased towards that left side, a mm -hmm. little bit easier to turn over typically. Your flatter golf club typically is going to be the more fade bias option, yeah. more biased towards that right side. I think the interesting interesting thing for you would be taking taking a look at turf interaction yeah. and kind of seeing how we influence direction of ball flight as well just by manipulating lie angle on this right. golf club. I guess I'm myself going to get fit for some new irons coming up right. here so this may be a little sneak peek as to what lie angle yeah. I might need but Definitely. Um, fun one here uh, so we'll hit five shots in each setting we'll yep. come back we'll look at all the data and wrap it up but we should see some big differences here. Definitely, definitely. Swing. swing. Oh, I hit that so good and it's I just know. way over there. Great swing. Star line was way different. There's some draw. Great swing. Good swing. Oh my. No, that's not bad. Yeah. All right, Cameron, um, we've got the five shots with each. Yeah. Uh, so we did, again, standard three degrees upright, three degrees flat. Right. Um, I know it was weird for me, just, you know, the setup. Right, um, just visually I could, right I could notice it visually both and like in my swing, like especially the the flat. Mm -hmm. So I felt like, you know, I hit a shot really good. And yep. I, when I hit a shot good, I anticipated to see it right. flying relatively straight yeah. with that little draw that I play. Definitely. But then it just goes straight right. Right. And um, so that was kind of an adjustment just like mentally to see that. <laughs> yeah. But then, you know, we. It was weird too, because it might be, and you kind of made a point of right. the way I deliver the club with the upright setting, mm -hmm. I was more efficient with the smash factor. My ball speed was higher there too. Right. Yeah, really that's standard and your upright settings. Kind of the, 
the more more upright that we got, essentially, the, the better you got through the turf, the better our consistency of distances became, the better our consistency of spin rate became. Mm -hmm. Really, I don't necessarily know that it needs to be three degrees upright, but there's right. probably a happy medium, probably somewhere in the one, one degree upright yeah. or even standard line angle where you probably fit and where we have a pretty neutral ball flight for you. Right, right. Um, and then the other thing, too, we should bring up. These are the numbers, and right. you're not going to see a ton on spinner. Uh, right. distance but dispersion is where we see the big difference and Very this is perfect. also where we can kind of see you can use that visual tool there right. to kind of explain lie angle but you know the way an upright lie angle has the left bias the standard Definitely. kind of is generally going to send someone neutral or down the middle and right. then flat sends you farther right Definitely. and um, we can kind of see this visual again yeah so this how why that that happened right this is a great little tool we like to used to explain lie angle in a lot of our yeah. fittings as well too, just based on the the aspects of, of what you don't see necessarily. Because mm -hmm. obviously you can see a toe up, can't necessarily see that it's going to go right. left. Kind of the tool here is magnet, you point it on the face and essentially as you go more upright or more toe up, mm -hmm. that points more left, more more left bias of anything. The flatter we go, the more toe, toe down, the more it wants to point right and right. essentially more fade bias, more bias in, yeah. into that right side for yeah. you. Yeah. Um, and definitely, from our dispersion circle, right. we definitely saw a very clear picture. Not necessarily that you were trying to do one or the other, which we spoke about mm -hmm. as well too. It was more so just putting that same swing on it and saw right. very, very different results in terms of ball. Right, flight. right. I mean, yeah, it was just wild to see the, especially that orange circle with the right. flat ones. Again, I, I felt like I was hitting good swings. I was definitely. making solid contact yep. and the ball is just sailing right consistently too. Yep. So um, I think it's, hopefully this visual kind of helps golfers, you know, understand lie angle and even for, you know, the example I'll share is in, in my own game, a couple of years ago, I was actually struggling with the right miss. Right. And so, you know, this is when I got my first iron fitting and second swing. I was struggling with the right miss. I was leaving the face open, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, turns out the set I had was actually a degree flat from standard of Mizuno. Gotcha. So I was really, flat. really too flat yeah. compared to standard of others. Right. And I didn't even know that. And mm -hmm. so I got fit for new iron, suddenly yeah. I was hitting the ball straighter. Right. And so it's something, I mean, you know, lie angle, it might not even be a, you know, something that registers in your brain, but it definitely impacts your game. And you know that more than anybody as a fitter. Too. Definitely. And I, I think the other thing that's kind of cool to point out too, is something we offer to all of our players that go through fittings with us, the ability to take a look at lie angle, because yeah. it's not something, especially if you're looking at a forge golf club, where once you set it, it's set forever. It yeah. can definitely move around based on coming in contact right. with mats, turf, all mm -hmm. other surfaces as well too. So especially for your better player, I would challenge you to go out beginning of the season, springtime, and just get everything looked at. Because yeah. although even if you think you're at standard, yeah. something may be a little upright, something may be a little flat, and that may be why there's certain golf clubs within the set that perform pretty right. well, but maybe an eight iron that you don't like, and it's yep. a little off in terms of lie angle. So I think yep. that's kind of something to keep an eye on as well. Yep. That, and then also golfers that do get fit here can get right. retrofit, or maybe they've purchased clubs that second swing in the past, they want to get them checked or maybe even altered. We do that as well in the Definitely. retrofit. So, uh, but golfers, Lie angle and it matters, especially in your iron game. Uh, if you want to be hitting straight shots at the flag, get that lie angle dialed in. Schedule a fitting with second swing, or if you already purchased clubs from second swing, bring them in and we will retrofit them that will to make them work for your swing. So, um, Cameron, thank you for joining. A uh, really good explanation here on lie angle. I hope the golfers will enjoy this one. Really good information here. For sure.